Back in 1976, I was selected to be in the first class of women pilots in the United States Air Force. We were one woman at every base, so we didn't have a support group. I flew uh, global cargo missions all over the world, and a friend of mine asked me to join Women in Aviation. And after about two years, I thought, well, here's a lifetime membership. Why don't I just buy this? Because, and then I don't have to think about it. I don't have to think about when the dues go up. My dues are paid. I'm going to get my magazine. I'm going to get the information. My daughter's going to get the information. We're going to go to the conferences and we're going to be able to keep up with everything because I don't have to renew. And also you, you become part of a, a little bit of a smaller group of other lifetime members and you kind of seek one another out and you talk to one another and you talk about the benefits and of being in a great organization. To me, it's an investment. You've invested in the organization. You have invested in the fact that you want to help others. You want to connect with others. You want to help some of the kids that are coming along behind you and guide them and help them to the opportunities that, for example, that I've had. I contribute to scholarships every year, and I always tell people, you know, there's scholarships out there. They've given over $15 million in scholarships throughout the years, and apply. You want to be a mechanic, you want to be a, a maintainer, you want to be an electrician, you want to be an air traffic controller. Scholarships are there for everybody. So the value that you get out of a lifetime membership, I think, is exponential.